Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, General Technology Knowledge. Today we will continue to part 2 about how to link data from PLC S7200 Smart CPU SR20 to PLC S7200 Smart CPU SR20 by using the Modbus RTU. In this section, we will send the VW100, it is their example, we send to the CPU slave by uh, VW200 and I will send the VW202 from slave CPU to the master CPU by using the address VW100. 02 okay let's go to previous video yes yes in the previous video we already learned about how to send the data for uh, two bytes from the PLC S7200 smart CPU SR20 uh, this one yes it means that send from PLC master to PLC slave and we already tested with the HMI yes for show the status of each bit yes so today we will continue yes okay let's go to uh, slide okay today we will uh, send VW100 to with the view 200 of PLC slave, right? So this is the logic that we will create. So first we need to uh, create more for mode bus. We say yes. Here is the existing video, and we need to add one more for write the data and one more block for read the data okay write mean that write from the cpu master to cpu slave and read it mean that read the data from cpu slave to cpu master okay and here is the data test that we will test with the hmi also okay so uh, first let's go to the program yes software to create more for mode bus message okay so let's go with me together okay so here is the previous project that we already learned in the previous video so for cpu1 cpu master yes i will apply first and then we need to create more for mode bus message, right? So I will uh, delete this one first. So basically, we can uh, send the we can write command send data from PLC master to PLC slave or CPU1 to CPU2 by using the address VW100 to VW200 right okay the slide let's see the slide again here we will send uh, one VW100 to VW200, right? So let's go to insert the library. Yes, we have library for this mode bus. So first, let's go to insert the library of master, right? So let me drag and drop the mode bus message from this library to the block yes 
and here is the library yes that we can use okay I will zoom to uh, zoom in a little bit easy to understand yes so uh, here is the enable right for enable we can use this one so I can copy and paste and for the first it means that the first initial right so uh, for this one we can uh, use the reset right I will insert the new network for reset so if I turn on the power I will reset the M0.0 .0. yes so every time that I turn on and sorry turn off and turn on the power of PLC I will reset this one to 0 right so uh, I will use SM0.0 .0 and then reset M0.0 .0, yes so uh, during I uh, turn off the power yes and turn on again M0.0 .0 will reset to 0 okay it means that fall and then it will turn on the connection again yes and for this one I can use uh, M0.0 .0. yes so this one it will work after this one right so I will use M0.0 .0. and I will use the P yeah, it means that positive edge and for this one it will turn on after this one on right so I will use NO and will use M0.2 and positive 8 also and for the slave slave address I will use 8 also yes and we write we would like to write the data right VW100 so I will put one for write the data and for the address yes yeah, for the address we can follow this one yes for the address we can start from uh, we sorry uh, for 2001 yes so I will put uh, Four zero 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 one, right? Okay, this one, and then count one, right? Count one, and the data is VB, right? VB one hundred, yes. VB one hundred. And for this one, we can uh, use the M0.3 Let me check again, this one should be M0.0 M0.0 here M0.1 here and this one should be M0.2 and create one more right so drag and drop one more for mistake this one should be MB4 and this one I will enable by M0.0 also and for uh, this one first we can uh, use M0.3 right 
and I will send this one also yes and for the slave is age also right to address and read write is zero because we read only yes from the TLC slave right and for the address for the address we can use uh, this address yes four zero 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 two right so four zero 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 two and for count it's only one right only one so we can put one and for the data read from the CPU slave we can use VB 102 right okay VB 102 yes and for this one we can use uh, M0.4 right this one uh, I will put M B5 So let me check again. This one should be M0.5, right? So M0.2. This one M0. M0.1, yes. 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, yes. So that's correct, and then we can uh, download, yes. And for this one, we can, uh, if this one complete, we can copy M0.4. To reset this one, right? So this one should be M0.4, yes. So we can come on here. Read data from TLC slave VW 102, right? Okay, VW 102 and let's save the program and then compile okay error 0 it means that uh, compile successfully and we can download yes okay and then we can online yes So let's check here, no error occur, right? M0.0 .0 is 1, right? Let me check. It should be not error, right? If we write like this. So this one all the way on, yes. And this one M0.0. .0. So M0.1 on. M0.4 and then M0.4 is turned on. M0.5, right. And for the CPU slave, we need to revise also, yes, because the address is add more, right? So uh, for CPU slave, I will uh, revise this text, this address, yes, 
because we send VW right VW uh, 100 to VW 200 right so I will put VW 200 so VB 200 and then I will save the project and then download and then we can online yes So let's see here it is error right yes it is error so let me check again this one should be m0.0 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 turn on is turn on and then m0.1 right m0.1 m0.2 m0.2 m0.3 m0.3 m0.4 right so uh, it is okay but it look like communication is error, right? Communication error. Okay, so uh, this one should be first scan only, right? So I will rewind the logic to be uh, SM0.0, yes, sorry, SM0.1 first scan, right? And then save and download to the CPU again and start the CPU. And let's check here now, it's no error occur, right? The communication is working. Let's see, M0.4 is on and off, on and off, it means that loop communication here yes so uh, we can test so I will minimize like this so if no error occur let uh, see here it is one it means that done yeah it done and error zero right so it means that the communication Communication is working properly and we can test by send the data right so let's go to status chart and then status chart one and we will write the VW100 right VW100 write to VW200 of CPU slave right Okay, and CPU slave will write VW two hundred two to VW one hundred two, right? Okay, I will show as uh, unsigned decimal. Sorry, unsigned. And then we can test the signal by online here. Okay, I will online. And then we can test the VW100. So we can write example 1, 2, 3. Yes. And then for the signal. One hundred two. Then this one I will send 
example 600 So we need to revise uh, this one a little bit more, yes. So I will offline, yes. Because we need to use the more uh, memory, right? So basically we can use uh, like this, follow this step. 1, 2, 8 for this one, 32 and 2, yes. So one, two, eight, thirty-two, and eight. Yes, and we can save and then download to the CPU again. And then we can online to test. Okay, let's see the data that we write from CPU A to CPU B is working. So example, I will change to the uh, one, two, five, four. Yes. Sorry, the big value, right? I will write only this. Let's see the uh, data is changed. And if we would like to write from here, example, one two three four five okay the CPU master will change also okay so uh, we can use the touch panel here yeah, to write and read the data from the CPU master to CPU slave yes so we can go to our HMI yes and then create the new text, right? So for the CPU one or CPU master, we will use the VW one hundred, right? So address VW one hundred. It is the integer yeah example i will write integer so we w 100 yes and we will got the data with we 102 right from the cpu uh, slave yes and for the CPU slave, I will use the CPU slave selection. And then this one should be VW 200, right? So the address will start from VW 200. And this one is 202. Yes. And then we can go to the screen and then we can create the text. Okay, create like this. I will change the color to be text color like this. And for the background, I will change to black. And for the text size, I will use this one yes so we can use the format sample like this and I will align the text to be center middle yes And for this one, we can use D and can select with the white color, yes, to be like this. OK, 
Okay. So we can increase for the side, yes. And we can copy for receive the data from CPU slave, right? So uh, for the address here, we can copy from here and this one should be VW100, right? And this one should be VW102. I will increase the size a little bit. Okay. And then we can copy to uh, CPU slave, yes. And just change this one to be uh, VW200, right? So I will change to VW200. And this one should be VW202. Yes. And choose the tag for this one is uh, input right yeah this one for input so let me simulation okay for if we choose input we can write any number that we want right okay and for this one I will choose output Yes, output we cannot write, right? This one I will choose input also. And for this one I will choose output. Yes. So for this address is uh, the VW100, right? And for this one is VW one hundred two. So VW one hundred two. And for this one VW two uh, hundred right. So VW two hundred. And this one VW two hundred two. Okay, so we can save the project and then simulation, right? Okay, first we can simulation. So I will write this one to be uh, okay. We will uh, remove force first, right? I will remove the force signal here. Yes, cancel all force. Okay. And then we can write any number that we want. Example, I write 4, 1, 2, 3. Yes. Let's see. For CPU slave, it changed also. And for this one, I will write 1, 4, 7, 8. Yes. This one chain also okay so it means that the data communication is work perfectly from the CPU master to the CPU slave okay so I will download this uh, HMI to the real HMI and then test together yes so far we can go to the project of BinCC and I will ping to one nine two dot one six eight dot two dot three right the HMI that we already learned in the previous video so we can click download and then choose the download button to yes okay finish so let's go to the real HMI together to uh, set the any number that we want and we can simulation this one also yes i will put here ok 
okay So uh, right now the PLC is uh, turned on, yes, and uh, it select to run mode, yes. So if we uh, still use this one, we can also select, yes, for the previous video, yes. This one also we can select, and select this one, it turn on, yes. And we can also use the analog, yes. Uh, right now, I will set point the analog from here. Example 8886 from CPU A, right? CPU master. And then let's check the CPU slave is checked also. And if I uh, set any number from here, yes, from CPU. Uh, slow and then let's check the CPU master is changed also okay so we can send the data any data from the CPU master to CPU slow right okay so it uh, working perfectly from the communication of CPU A and CPU uh, master okay So this is just concept how to link data from uh, CPU A or CPU Master or PLC S when 200 smart by using the Modbus RTU. Okay. So I hope uh, everyone will understand about uh, my point and uh, the benefit of this project so we can use only uh, profit bus or uh, cable communication from the CPU 1 to CPU 2 so we can link another data that we want okay so thank you very much for watching my video if everyone have any question please kindly drop comment under my video I will reply soon and I would like to request all of you to like share and subscribe my video also to get more notification and more new videos that I will create step by step so in this time i would like to say thank you very much again and see you next videos bye bye